I have a hard time thinking we'll trade Kittle. I know everybody keeps saying it, but I, I just don't see it. Like, even the game I watched some uh, Houston game again the other day, like, yeah. um, when when Trey played, he hit Kittle with a deep shot down the middle on that pass interference. Like, I think it's going to open up Kittle's game more so he can run deeper routes. He's a fast tight end, a good receiving tight end. I think oh, he's been you know, limited. How many, by... how many catches he had in that game against Houston? I do not. One. Probably just that one. Yeah. Exactly. What's crazy yeah, about uh, Kittle is he really didn't have produce much down the stretch, uh, except right. for those couple of games in like December. But I don't know that that's his fault. To me, that's a function so. of the play calling, the quarterback, but it's interesting. I feel like he was limited by Jimmy just as much as Ayuk or the other guys. Like, I agree. I, th hey, I think Trey Lance is going to Tell me if you think left. there's anything to this. Do you think it's possible? It just seems like a total conspiracy theory. After this, the NFC Championship game, heated locker room. Embry goes up to Kyle and says, oh, what, what, did, what did Kittle get in this game? He got uh, two catches. Two catches for 27 yards and we lose? George Kittle, right. all pro tight end. I mean, did get a touchdown. If someone's <laughs> going to stick up for his tight end. It's Embry. I just, I would wonder. I don't know. I don't uh, know. Back to your uh, point about <clears throat> fair treatment of coaches. I think that, I think it's, it definitely <laughs> happens a lot. Obviously, we've seen like you go to Steve Wilkes, you go to guys get one year, like the guy Cully in Houston. Yeah. Um, or like the coach you just said that we fired uh, last week. I Embry. think it was more the climate of what we were in. Right. Like, are you going to fire him right after or this Flores stuff gets leaked? But yeah. um, I think even if you're not kind of in the in club or that coaches don't – somebody like Harbaugh, you went, you you come in in three, your first three years, you go to an NFC Championship in the Super Bowl, and I feel like it's been harder for him to get back on. And it's like I think that's kind of unfair for, for that, for what he produced. Well, when you I know? point this stuff out, like what I see is like injustices with black coaches in the NFL, a lot of people are like, man, it's a meritocracy. If the coach was better, he'd be there. And I'm like the uh, the Jaguars just got rid of their offensive line coach. There's only two black offensive line coaches in the in the league. One of them just got right. run out of Jacksonville. And I look at his his team averaged nine ninth in yards per carry, and they gave up the ninth right. fewest sacks. So I mean it's, right. a lot of times it's just about like, you know, well, he doesn't really know the head coach, and this guy is uh knows a different scheme. I mean. It seems kind of uh, rough how you get pushed right. out. People don't complain about black coaches in hockey because there are no black players. People are, for the if most part, if it was a true meritocracy, a there'd be a lot more black coaches. The way I see it, the fact that it's so I, imbalanced means that something's wrong. I agree. Seventy yeah. percent players. I mean, and that goes back to when I was a kid. There was no black quarterbacks really. That right. was a thing, or yeah. or uh, anything like that. It seems like they're hiring more uh, black GMs and coaches. Yeah, uh, give the Niners credit too. They, they are really making an effort the last uh, few years to do. That's that. one where I wasn't a big Arians fan, but he got his whole staff, his, his, like everybody. Yeah, and Al Davis was big on this forty years ago. Oh, he was. He was. Yeah, he was huge on it, man. Yeah, but uh, let's let the kid play. Let's go, Trey Lance. Uh, and let me ask you, what what um shocking move or a big move do you think the Niners can make? Maybe that won't equal trading all your picks for the number three, <laughs> like we did. And now I have to say, you were right. When you look at it logically, you throw a three number one picks for like Russell Wilson or somebody that's established. Not like, oh, I hope this guy's good. Like, you were on point with that, Grant. I got to give you yeah. credit, man. Thanks for taking my call.